So here's my chopper and it's made out of a steel bar with a couple of springs. You can see how those are mounted. One on either side so it has equal pressure on both sides. And I've got L brackets, one at the back for the hinge. These two here, they act as a stopper and they keep the blades aligned perfectly. Now this is a, a, belt, a bent one. I use that as a finger guard. Very important you have that because you don't want your fingers chopped off. You can see on the bottom there's the blade on the bottom on the block and on the top there's a second blade. Now I have it in the raised position right now but I'll lower it so you can see how they come together. And right in between the two L brackets you see these stack of washers? That's a stopper. Now if you have really thick rods you can raise that up or if you have you know, you know you're working with only thin rods, you can take away some of them. doesn't really matter. The blades don't have to come together completely. There can be a gap between them. Okay, so I'm going to lower it. Let's see how it works. Take that out. Now I'm going to use this as a stopper when I raise the arm. It's handy. Now to catch the little bits as they come flying off, I have this simple box right here and I've just extended it and put a small shelf so that it, I have something to put the container on. So put that on there, use these little wing nuts to attach it all, keep it stable. You could put do this permanently and just screw it in but I kind of like the idea of being able to remove it if I want to. Who knows, I may, may, may make modifications later. All right, get my container. Put that in. I'll start with a small rod. See how important that stopper is, right? You don't want your fingers to get too close. Okay, so now I'm going to go with a larger rod, so I need to take out the bottom one so I can raise up a little higher. Now you see I use that as a stopper again. It's that simple. And you see the cut is nice and flat. can see what they look like. I wasn't really paying attention to the length so they're a little bit different in length but just to give you an idea how flat they are and how nicely they stand up. Whoops! There we go. Now I'll see if I can get a, an image of the uh, little bolt that I use to regulate the length. So. See that little bolt in there? I line up the rod with either side of it on the, uh, the inner side to get a short rod and the outer side to have a longer rod. Now in the future I may change this. I might just um, put a little slot in there and insert a piece of cardboard so I can butt the glass up against it, but that'll be something I can experiment a little bit more with. But for now you have the basics of how it works. Pretty simple.